NetSuite Release Preview 2022.1 Electronic Bank Payment Enhancements Now, I unfortunately don't have an account that I can demonstrate all of this, but I w do want to quickly run through this. Right, so you've got these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 improvements here, enhancements. Bulk update of payment batches. <coughs> Sorry. You can now add information directly in the EFT file reference node and aggregate by payee columns on the open sub tab of the payment batch list. That's very handy, otherwise you've got to open them one by one to add these details. So that's quite a good enhancement. Exclude transactions from electronic payments processes. You can exclude any invoice and credit memo from electronic payment processing by checking the exclude from electronic bank payments processing box. This box is available in invoice, credit memo and sales orders. Right, process payments from vendors from primary and secondary banks. This is also a really, really good enhancement because it's always had both primary and secondary, but you couldn't really use the secondary bank. So that's really, really handy. Right, and you can use them on these transaction types, bill, bill credit, bill payment, commission, expense report. Right, then you've got process transactions for a locked posting period. You can post transactions or process payments in locked posting period only if the override pro, uh, period restrictions permission is enabled for your account. If the override period restriction permission is not enabled in your account, then the locked period posting is restricted for the following payment processes. Bill payments, payment reversal, rollback and reprocess, batch process and EP API. Right, auto process payment file administration, PFA stuck in queue. Also a very, very, very handy one. Um, because if you have any files that get stuck in the queue, you will have to go and one by one set them to failed and then process again. So this is really, really handy, right? And then the last one, sweet script permission for custom EFT role. The custom EFT role is updated to include the sweet script permission with view level to enable payment reversals. If you have an existing custom role, create from the custom EFT role, then you need to add this permission manually. Otherwise, opening the payment reversals page without updating custom role permission can lead to errors in certain scenarios. Right, so you've got to go and do this. If you have that role, if you create the role after the new release, you will not have to manually go and add that.